What is going on YouTube, the Lone PC Gamer here, and today we're going to be doing something a little different, something you guys have never seen me do before. Uh, we're going to be opening up 10 booster packs for the new Magic the Gathering Gate Crash series. Now this is kind of exciting, I didn't go out and buy 10 booster packs. Uh, I haven't played Magic in about... Um, Six, seven years, not since I got out of high school, actually, and I missed it a little bit. I just had an itching and wanted to play some uh, some Magic, and unfortunately, all my old cards, I had, dude, I had thousands of those things. I, had, I moved out of my uh, dad's house, moved to my mom's house, had all my Magic cards in a uh, black trash bag, and I threw them in the garage, and my stepdad thought they were trash. Thought it was a trash bag, and threw it into the trash bin outside, and it rained. And all my magic cards, every single one of them, got drenched. I shouldn't say every single one because I did manage to save uh, one pack. It was my White Angel deck, and I still have it to this day. But I lost all my cards and just stopped playing after that because my I I was so pissed off and I lost everything. But I had an inkling again, and the, what I did rather than buy like a booster box or a, a deck building toolkit or anything like that or a fat box. I uh, bought every single intro deck that Walmart had. <laughs> so like all five sets, all intro decks. So I have every single color or every single guild to play with, to, to fool around with. And in each intro deck, there was two of these booster packs. So five intro decks equals ten booster packs. Now we're going to go ahead and start cracking packs here and we'll see what uh, what we get. I'm not too versed in uh, in this new Gate Crash series. Uh, I just started playing again recently yesterday. And uh, me and my girlfriend. I actually got my girlfriend to play. Dude. She never played Magic before. Anyway, we're going to go through, through all these here. Oh, we got a Syndic of Titus. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's a Human Cleric. 2-2 two -two with Extort. Uh, you either pay uh, planes or a, a swamp, and uh, target player loses one life, and you gain that much life. Um, I like those cards. I played a lot of those last night. Um, it's a common. Oh, the the, the basic uh, layout of a booster pack for Magic, by the way, in any any series, is your commons, and then you go to your your uncommons, and then you got your rare. Your land and your token. I didn't see my rare right there. Don't worry, but that's how it, that's how it's set up. And then second common is psychic strike, counter target spell. Its controller puts the top two cards of his or her library into into his or her graveyard. Huh, that's kind of interesting. Costs uh, colorless, uh, an island, and a swamp. Eh, I don't know if it's worth three. Uh, here we got an enchantment. It's uh, primal visitation. Uh, you enchant a creature. The enchanted creature gets plus three, plus three, and has haste. Now, that's not bad if you have the mana laying around. It costs a total of five, three colorless, a mountain, and uh, a forest to play that one. Here we go. We got a Gruel Guild Gate. Now, this is... It enters a battlefield tat, but it can be played for either a, a mountain or a forest. There's a dual land card there. Uh, this is Wildwood Rebirth. It's an instant. Uh, return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Nice to have. Cost two mana. Now it's a green card, so you know you're going to be having a crap load of mana in your in your, in your deck anyway, or in your in your battlefield because a lot of green decks are set up that way for you to gain a lot of mana. Let's see here. We got a Foundry Street Denizen. Whenever another red creature enters a battlefield under your control, Foundry Street Denizen gets plus one plus zero till the end of turn. It's a one one that costs one. Yeah. Whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of kind of skim through these because this is gonna take forever if I read all all of them here. Um, let's just go ahead and, and skip to my uh, my rare here. Okay. So we got in the first deck a Legion Loyalist. Loyalist. The. It's a one-one haste, and it costs one, and it has the ability called Battalion. Now, Battalion, it's whenever this card 
Wait, whenever Legion loyalists and at least two other creatures attack, creatures you control gain first strike and trample until the end of turn and can't be blocked by creature tokens this turn. That creature token thing doesn't excite me too much. Uh, creatures you control gain first strike and trample until end of turn. That's not bad at all. That's actually a good card that only costs one. I, I That's actually something I'm probably going to be using. Um, what is that? We got a foil card in here too. It's kind of dark in here. I couldn't really see it. Uh, just a common uh, Keymaster Rogue. So he's unblockable. He's a three-two that costs four. Uh, when it enters a battlefield, return one creature you control to its owner's hand. Then you got your Knight Token two-two, whatever. So that's the first deck. A um, couple good cards in there. Nothing really. Too exciting, nothing that's popping out at me. I got the I got the dual land there. Got a foil, which is kind of cool. Pack number two. Here we go. Okay, we're gonna skip right to the rare here. And in this case, we got a bio visionary. Now the Biovisionary, it costs one colorless, one forest, one island. It's a human wizard. It's a 2-3. And uh, at the beginning of the end step, if you control four or more creatures named Biovisionary, you win the game. So if you have four or more of these at the, uh, at the end step, at the end of the end step, you win the game. <laughs> Let's just hope we get four more or three more of those. Blah, 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 blah. I'll go through all that stuff later. That's pack two. Ah, I hit my fucking camera. That's not good. All right, here we go. Pack number three. Pack number three. All right. Skip right to the rare. Token, land. A grill rage beast in this case here. Pack number three costs five colorless, one mountain, and one forest. You guys probably can't read any of these cards, and I apologize for that. That's why I'm doing my best to read them for you. It's a six-six, and whenever Gruel Rage Beast or another creature enters a battlefield under your control, that creature fights target creature and opponent controls. Um, that doesn't excite me too much. Um, it costs seven. It is a six-six, and the whole fighting thing. It's just it's not uh, not for me. Um. But it might be for somebody else, you know, somebody else might get excited over that card. But it, uh but it's not me. Oh man. Here we go guys, pack number four. Hope you guys are enjoying this. This is kinda like open lottery tickets, you know. I'm not too familiar with the prices on the on this uh on this gate crash series yet, but uh you know, it's kind of like, he's kind of expecting that Black Lotus again. You know what I mean? It's kind of like hoping for the best here. It's kind of exciting. Token, land, and uh, Soul Ransom. Now, this is the rare in this case. Um, it costs two colorless, an island, and a, and a swamp. It's an enchantment. You enchant a creature. You, c you control enchanted creature. Discard two cards. And then you can play this ability. Soul Ransom's controller sacrifices it, then draws two cards. Only any opponent may activate this ability. Doesn't fucking make sense. Let me read that again. For this ability, if you discard two cards, Soul Ransom's controller sacrifices itself, then draws two cards. So you discard two cards, you draw two more cards, and only any opponent may activate this ability. So you can't do it yourself. Ah, I get, I get it. Whatever. That I won't be using that one. I don't think. It's kind of neat, but uh, but yeah, I won't be. I won't be using that. Yeah. Okay. Pack number five. Here we go. Here we go. I might end it here. I don't know if I'm gonna be doing all ten on this video or not. I'm gonna see how you guys are liking the whole booster unpacking, and then maybe I'll upload the rest on a second video, and you guys can can let me know what you think. Going straight for the rare in on this one. We got our token. It's not even a token. It's a rules card. 
Uh, land. And... Ooh, damn, we get a, a foil legendary creature. This is, uh, how do you pronounce it? Borborg, Borborgmus Enraged, or whatever. <laughs> it costs four colorless, two mountain, and two forest. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight mana for seven, six with trample. And whenever this guy deals combat damage to a player, Reveal the top three cards of your library. Put all land cards revealed this way into your hand and the rest into your graveyard. This card I would love to use if I can get it into a deck that uh, that involves me getting a lot of mana, whether it be from tapping artifacts, creatures, or just a lot of cards, instant sorceries, that will allow me to pull mass mana into my mana pool. This card is awesome. It's a legendary creature, and it's a foil, so that's pretty sweet. We should... We should have a, another rare. Yes, we do. Hell Kite Tyrant. These seem to be pretty common uh, for a rare that you find in a booster deck. I've seen them in a couple other videos. Guy pulled two out of five decks. So uh, it's a flying trample, 6 5, cost 6, which isn't bad. Uh, whenever this guy deals combat damage to a player, gain control of all artifacts that player controls. Well, that's pretty cool. Um, I mean, the, the only time people are really going to be putting artifacts out um, in this day and age for magic is if they're fucking amazing. <laughs> so you're going to get in control of all that. Hopefully, it's not a color-specific type of artifact that only helps certain certain things out. At the and it also has at the beginning of your upkeep, if you control 20 or more artifacts, you win the game. Another one of those win the game cards. It's kind of neat finding two of those in, in five packs. So that's it, guys. That is it for uh, this video. We opened up five booster packs, found some pretty decent cards, got ourselves some dual lands, some legendary foil creatures, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, if you want to see me open up these next five booster packs uh, to see what we get, go ahead and let me know. Like this video. Please subscribe. It'll help me out a lot. It takes two seconds. Um, but as always, guys, take care, have a good day, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.